Welcome to Rewatch. We are on episode 20 of season one of Dave Filoni's Clone Wars. We are like this close to the end right now. <laughs> so close, uh, but so far away. <laughs> All right, so the battle to free the planet of Ryloch continues. Uh, basically, this is an Obi-Wan sort of adventure. Obi-Wan is leading some troops. There's one scene where they're being attacked by uh, creatures, and all of a sudden, Obi-Wan uses his force power to draw the attention of the creatures to him. And, you know, while the clones kill them or whatnot, or, or escape or something. And I was like, I don't remember him ever doing that. I remember Anakin being the one to, you know, calm the beast down episode two. But I don't think, I mean, besides the Krayat dragon, he, uh, you know, voice that he chased off on, on some of the expanded universe stuff. Have we ever seen Obi-Wan trying to control animals before? I thought that was kind of wild that they gave him one of something that Anakin's been known for. I say Anakin because Anakin's known for it in episode two, but that doesn't mean he's the only Jedi who can do it. I can I understand that, but I thought that was a little weird that they showed that in there. Um, the clones encounter a young Twi'lek girl who they don't want around, but she follows them. And then, of course, it is the classic story, right? The little girl ends up saving the whole troop because she knows how to get through the underground tunnels, which are a maze, but she knows her way around them. So she leads them to Obi-Wan and then leads them behind the droid army to wipe them out. There's a confident droid who thinks he has a, there is a 99.9% .9 chance of winning, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, I hope you're right. He went, I am a droid. I am never wrong. But they didn't forget that 0 .001 that they would figure out how to get through the tunnels. But there's a young Twi'lek girl who basically saves the day. And at the end of it, she keeps calling the clones this name and the clones don't know what it means. And so they ask uh, Obi-Wan, say, General, what's that name she keeps calling us? And Obi-Wan smiles and went, Brother. You know, it's true because they call the clones call each other brother. Well, she calls them brother. So they decide to wave to her. It's nice. It's your classic little little girl who seems no one wants her on the team because she's not. You know, we don't need we don't need a tag along who's going to drag us down. That girl ends up helping them win the war or win the battle. I should say, classic story. I don't mind it at all. Um, the the, the battle for Ryloth, even though that was a big battle there. I think they still got to fight in the capital. I haven't seen the next episode yet, but I think they still have to fight in the capital because there's one other. Ryloth thing, and I think that's it. But uh, and I really don't know how this ends. I really forgot that they had a battle over Ryloth. So a lot of these, a lot of these episodes, I have forgotten. Some I remembered. Some I was like, oh, I know where they got that, or I remember this episode, or the one they ripped straight out of the comic books one time. I was like, what? You know. So some of these episodes I remember, and a lot of them I do not. So this rewatch is actually helping me out and rediscovering the Clone Wars again. Yeah, no, there's some decent stuff in here. And again, there's always decent action in these that I really love. I should be writing down what action scenes I like, but there's always decent action, usually in a lot of these that are really good. And this one is fine. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. But kind of the one of those generic storylines that we've seen before. All right, folks, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And I'll see you next time on Rewatch.